Carolyn Scott and Latrice Varroa from SARTA. And we're going to talk about a program that SARTA has called Travel Trainer. Hi, ladies. Thanks a lot for talking with me today. Thanks for having us. The first thing I'd like to ask is what does SARTA actually stand for? It stands for the Stark Area Regional Transit Authority, which is basically our local bus lines. Okay. I've, I've often wondered, does that just operate in the city of Canton, or does it reach people in some of the outlying areas as well? It actually goes all over Stark County. It goes to Canton, Alliance, Hartville, Jackson Township, Uniontown. Um, it goes all throughout those areas. Um, we do also have a ProLine service that might go to some other areas in Stark County that our regular fixed routes don't go to. How would somebody access one of those, the, the ProLine that you're talking about? To go through ProLine, you would actually have to go through an application process. You can go to any of our transit centers, which we have one in downtown Canton, <clears throat> one in downtown Maslin, one in downtown Alliance, and one in Belden Village and you can ask any of the customer service reps or you can actually call SARTA and get the application. When you get the application, you actually have to make sure you fill it out completely or they won't accept it and the very last page has to be filled out by a doctor. Okay. And just to add to that, to qualify for ProLine, you either have to have a physical or mental disability that makes it difficult for you to get to our fixed route bus stops. And then once that is the case and the doctor verifies that, that's how you'd be able to access ProLine. Okay. So, well, that sounds great. Does, does that sort of a thing, that ProLine bus, does that have a wheelchair lift on it? Yes. Actually, all of, our, all of our buses are wheelchair or mobility device accessible. The regular routes and the ProLine, so okay. either way you'd be able to access it. Okay. That sounds a lot different from when I was a kid. I grew up in Canton and I used to take the bus downtown um, like every Saturday and you know the buses that I've seen around lately look a whole lot different you know from those buses and it sounds like um, everything's been kind of tweaked so that it's more user-friendly. Yes. Um, can you tell me is it is it very complicated for people to get from one part of the city to the other? How, how does that actually work? And no it's not. If you look at the system as a whole it can seem overwhelming. But what we try to do in travel training is we try to break it down into its pieces. So really, if you want to ride the bus, the first thing you need to figure out is where you want to go. Either know the address of where you want to go or the cross streets of where you want to go. Once you know that, then the next thing you would need to do is pick a route that you would ride on. Knowing the cross streets and the address, the way the schedules are set up, you can look at it at a glance and determine which one you need to use then once you do that, you can plan your trip. The good thing is that you have travel trainers like us. You can call up on the phone and we can help you plan your trip. Or you can call a customer service representative and they can also help you plan your trip. Okay, so somebody's just not on their own to try to, you know, figure out their way through this whole system. No, there's always somebody available. And at the, at the very least, when you get on a bus, you can ask the bus drivers because okay. our bus drivers are knowledgeable about pretty much all of the routes, so they can also head you in the right direction okay. if it's a last-minute trip. So. How, how expensive is it to ride the bus these days? Actually, the regular fare is only $1.50 for our fixed route stops, and we also have a reduced fare, which is half price or $0.75. Cent. That's for um, persons with disabilities or persons who are 65 years or older. But if you're going to ride on the ProLine, the ProLine <coughs> one ride is 225 That's a little bit more expensive because ProLine is a paratransit, so it's kind of a door-to-door -door service. Okay. So to get that, it's just a little bit more, but it's still only 225 Well, for that, that sure beats you know, putting gas in your car and paying insurance on your car and all that kind of stuff. Right, yes. or paying for a taxi, so. And one yeah. thing that we like to make our riders aware of is if you are eligible for the ProLine service, it is a shared ride service, so you may not always be on that bus by yourself. Okay. It may pick you up, drop somebody else off, and then take you to your destination. But there's like a time, a window of time that allows you to know that you will get to your appointments okay. and get picked up on time. Okay, that sounds good. Good. Um, you both said, you were explaining to me earlier that you can actually sit down and talk with somebody, not just on the phone, but you can 
sit down and do like a little educational thing with people, is that right? Yes, so and that's basically what our job is. Okay. What we do as travel trainers is we train people in two different ways. We do group sessions where we get a group of people together and we give a general overview on the buses. Then we can do what we call one-on-one -on -one sessions. So we work with someone individually. So for example, someone could call us up on the phone and they would say, I want to go to Hartville from my house. We would say, okay, where do you live at? We would look, plan out the trip. We would meet with that person, actually get on the bus with them, take them out to Hartville, they spend time at the flea market, and then ride the bus back home with them. So that way they could feel comfortable. And it's not a one-time thing. So if you wanted to go to Hartville, and then you wanted to go to Maslin, we could do multiple trips for you to feel comfortable on the bus. As many times as you need, and we can repeat it if necessary. Well, what's the charge for that? Nothing. Nothing. That's awesome. And you were telling me about this other program that's going on. I don't know if it's an ongoing thing, but where if somebody actually does this training with you, that they get a free bus pass? Yes. Is that right? Yes. That's actually a part of our travel training. The very first time you go through travel training, you are eligible to get a free 31-day bus pass. That bus pass is a one-time thing, but the training is ongoing. As she said, as many times as necessary as you would need for us to come out and work with you, we would be willing, but we can only give you one bus pass, and that bus pass, like you said, is a 31-day bus pass. It allows you to explore on your own and get used to being out on the buses. But the only thing about that, just to keep in mind, is those that bus pass is only good on a fixed route. Okay. It's not good for ProLine. Sure. So if you're going to be using ProLine, we can work with you, but unfortunately we don't, we're not able to have bus passes for ProLine. Okay. What is your um, you know, typical demographic? Who usually rides the buses? We don't have a specific demographic. There's actually, there's people on the buses from every walk of life, no matter how much or how little money they make, no matter where they may stay at or what kind of life circumstances they have. Mm -hmm. There's a wide variety of people on the buses. We run into people all the time. And it's like we run into people who are, who are very shy and we run into people who are very outgoing. You run into people who you may have been afraid to, to kind of walk up to them at first because they may look intimidating, but then they have this great personality. So yeah. there's just a, a wide variety of people that you can see on the buses. And I mean, that's in life general. So, so young people, old people, yes. college students. We yeah. actually work with all of those. We work with, okay. with children ages six all the way up wow. until senior citizens. So there is no age limit. And I mean, we would work with people younger than six, they just would need a bus pass to ride the bus. Okay. So. <laughs> and one of the things that I say in my travel training class, I say, who do you think travel training is good for? And people throw out answers. The answer is everyone. Okay. Because even if you don't ride the bus, if you're a parent and you take your kid back and forth to baseball practice and football practice, travel training is great for you because then you don't have to be a chauffeur. If you're a caregiver and you're taking somebody someplace, Travel training is great for you because once that person feels comfortable traveling independently, you don't have to do that. If you don't want to pay $4 for gas, yeah. travel training is great. <laughs> so really travel training is good for everyone, even if you don't think it is, because it helps our society as a whole, people feel comfortable traveling independently, yeah. and then people can do more things, which is going to stimulate economies, and just so many different things that can help out. Wow. That's very good. That, that just brought up another question. If um, if somebody's going to use ProLine because they're they're disabled, mm -hmm. is is their caregiver allowed to travel with them on the bus? Absolutely. Okay. If you are eligible for ProLine service, we have what we call a personal care attendant or a PCA. Okay. When you sign up for it, I believe you can also put someone as a companion. That person rides for free. You okay. have to pay for your trip, but that person rides for free with you on the ProLine to make sure that you're That's still helpful. able to have that person with you to aid you in their needs. Because one thing is the bus driver is not allowed to go into your house to help you to the bus. I understand. And when you get there, they can walk you to the door, but they can't take you inside of where they're going. Okay. So if you need someone for that type of assistance, it's important to have them with you. So that person would ride for free. Okay. And just to add on to that, I know that on the screen they have it marked if someone has a PCA. So it's important that that's part of your application when you do it so the driver knows how many people are going to be on the bus sure. so when they're scheduling. Is there anything I forgot to cover? Anything you'd like to add? 
I think uh, the main thing I wanted to add is that as travel trainers, we're here to help. We feel very passionately about people feeling comfortable riding on the bus and by themselves. And if they're not, call us. If you have questions, call us, email us. That's what we're here for, to help you out um, so that you can feel comfortable on the bus. Okay. And at the end of this interview, we'll, we'll put up on the screen um, phone numbers and the web address and different ways that you can, can reach people here at SARTA. I just thought of one more question. Uh, for people who don't have computers, where can they get a bus schedule? You can actually get a bus schedule at any of our transit centers. I mentioned them earlier. You can also get them at Stark State and Kent State's bookstore. We actually have contact with the Stark County District Library, so many of those hold our schedules. Some of our local community centers. So there are a lot of places you can actually get information on scheduling and, and actual bus schedules. So. Latrice, Carolyn, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate you talking with me today. Well, thank, thank you for, you for having us.